evening. That fire began just after 5.30 this morning in a tiny wooden home in Highland County. That home on Bigelow Street is in Hillsboro, is where 15-year-old Hazel Morris died. Local 12's Rich Daffy says while fire crews were on the scene in a matter of minutes, there was just nothing they could do to save the girl. Hazel Morris was named for her great-grandmothers. She'll be remembered, though, for how she died. Hazel's dad told me that around 5.30 this morning, after he left for work, he got a phone call that his house was on fire. At 5.37, both his 13-year-old son and a neighbor called 911. Yes, there's a fire, a house fire on 302 Bigelow Street. Please hurry, it's burning bad. There's what? A fire, a house fire. 302 there's Bigelow? Two yes, there's two people trapped inside. Okay, we'll get him down there. Morris's son said when he woke up, he saw a box fan on fire. He woke his sister, then ran out of the house to call 911 from the neighbors. When he came back, the fire was out of control. Firefighters were on the scene in as little as four minutes, but Hazel was still inside. Michael Grooms grew up with her older brother. Good girl, good, you know, good school girl, you know. Good personality. Good personality, you know. I watched her grow up, you know. You know, she was more, she was more family than she was a friend. And, you know, it's just, it's just bad it all happened like this to her. When the first four firefighters arrived on the scene, they tried to make an entry from the front of the house, but the fire was so intense that they couldn't do it. When additional crews arrived, they made an entry from the rear of the house, and that's when they found the little girl's body. Fire investigators say they believe Hazel was found in a rear bedroom. There was so much smoke and fire when they entered the tiny home, it made even finding her body difficult. When I heard about it this morning, the only thing I sit there and I thought, I was like, well, don't tell me that because I know a lot of people with that last name. And then when I got to the church and I read the paper, it just all just all hit me at once. You know, I sit there and I said, you know, it couldn't be real. There's, there's no possible way, but it happened. In Hillsborough, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. The state fire marshal took control of the scene this morning. No official word yet on the cause of the blaze.